हेलो वेलकम टू माय फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन रेड फोर्स कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर डिजाइन सो दिस सब्जेक्ट डील्स विथ है विद द डिजाइन ऑफ रेड फोर्स कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर व्हाट डज मीन रेड फोर्स कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर as we know concrete is a material which is strong in compression it can bear large capacity of compressive load but at the same time it is weak in tension so suppose we have a beam like structure okay a beam is a horizontal member which carry load from the transverse direction so when a vertical load is applied on the beam so it deflects like this one as we can easily see in this picture the fiber concrete fiber in the bottom line of this beam get elongated and in the top line get shortened so the up the upper portion of the concrete beam is subjected to compressive load and the bottom portion of the concrete beam is subjected to tension load but as we have already said concrete is a material which character it, its character is it is strong in compression but weak in tension so in order to resist this tensile force we need to provide a reinforcement here this reinforcement often in the form of steel and this steel carries the tensile load on the bottom of the sometimes this steel also provided in the compressive zone to carry the compression load but mainly are reinforced concrete in reinforced concrete structure the reinforcement used for the for to resist the tensile force um, whatever in case of column the reinforcement is also used for carry to carry compressive load that's another topic so um, we use the steel as a reinforcing material in the concrete and this composite structure is termed as reinforced concrete structure now let us move on to the next sub topic reinforced concrete structure are designed in mainly two ways firstly using theoretical calculation
and using experimental investigation. Okay. Over time, the subject evolves, and different country practices different type of methodology philosophy to design a reinforced concrete structure. Using theoretical methods, calculation is one which are codified in the code of practice in different countries using theoretical procedure we can as theoretical calculation method is evolved over time we can classify is classify it which we can classify it based upon the methodology which evolves over time so we can sub classify the theoretical calculation method mainly in group working stress method load factor method and limit state method And uh, we can sub classify the method which involves RCC, con con RCC structure design using experimental investigation into using scale model. Let me slide down the camera for a while using scale model and using prototype of structure um, I shall mention that the theoretical calculation this evolves over time and this is based on extensive laboratory test, field test etc whether the experimental investigation is directly a laboratory test or field test which we use for a specific structure either on the scale model of the structure or on the prototype of the structure. Mm, let me illustrate the theoretical calculation method. Mm, we the mm, we can say that theoretical calculation is mostly used for the design of structure and experimental investigation this is mainly for the research project research project used for different or maybe the structure is very important such cases we use experimental investigation mm, otherwise we use the theoretical calculation method mm, now i shall tell a brief about this theoretical calculation method which are subclassified in three types mm, firstly Firstly, the working stress method. Mm, let me slide down it. Mm, I'm not getting it clearly. Working stress method. This method assume that concrete and steel acts together as a homogeneous material I will tell mainly the main topics from which you can get a brief idea about this method this use the concept of modular ratio and 
then what is this modular ratio modular ratio is nothing but the if modular ratio if termed as m then we can define it es by ec i the modulus of elasticity of steel to that of concrete modulus of elasticity of concrete we use this model ratio concept to determine the stress to determine the stress in the concrete and steel under working load here we also use the factor of safety for material strength we simply divide by this factor of safety factor of safety for material strength we simply divide the material strength by some suitable factor of safety um, i shall tell those factor of safety um, and this is 3.00 for concrete and 1.80 for steel um, one may question why this factor of safety is less for steel okay the um, qu quality control by um, during the manufacture of those if two materials are compared um, then in case of manufacture of steel is more precise mm -hmm. so we use 1.80 a less factor of safety here mm -hmm. so working stress method maybe this is the um, main these include uh, these three points mm -hmm. and few things which should known that working stress method is the first method which was codified this was the first accepted method which was codified and which was used by the engineer whatever this has several drawbacks uh, these drawbacks um, this may may, may be classified so what is the method has drawbacks okay first drawback um, this myth okay let me slide down the camera okay mm, this method consider the material as elastic uh, this not may be the true picture mm. this does not give the real value of the strength of the material this is the first drawback secondly mm. the this which modular ratio concept which is used in working stress method results in larger section and thirdly this modular ratio is a imaginary modular ratio is a imaginary con imaginary term this does not have existence actually actually uh, concrete actually concrete have a um, different type of this concrete does not have a specific modulus of elasticity uh, due to the inhomogeneity of this inherent inhomogeneity of the concrete mm, so these are main three drawbacks of WSM okay mm, whatever mm, the working stress method in working stress method we consider the load under working load which is the service load so in, the, uh, in order to know the service shareability condition we know the working stress method 
now the con concept of modular now the concept of modular ratio which is used in the working stress method has been eliminated in the load factor method okay about load factor method we can tell two points this is the ultimate load principle what is mean by the ultimate load principle we simply multiply the service load with a factor of safety mm, and this factor of safety i should mention that this is two um, uh, so in working stress method uh, in load factor method we use the ultimate load principle uh, though we also used the factor of safety against strength of material or material strength now um, in contrast to now in contrast to um, working stress method where the factor of safety used against material strength 3 for concrete and 1.8 for steel um, we use um, a precise more precise factor of safety uh, which is 1.50 concrete when it is a design mix and 1.67 when concrete of nominal mix okay Now let me tell me. Now let me tell about the limit stress method. Since a rational approach to design of reinforced concrete did not mean simply adopting the existing elastic and ultimate load theory. which was um, prevailing at the time um, the new concept with a semi probabilistic approach to design work found necessary um, and this new philosophy of design was called the limited method of design uh, okay this method considers limit state of serviceability and also limit state of failure at present this method is the universally accepted method Okay. Now, I shall tell the actually I shall name the um, few um, code which was practiced in different countries. Um, just like in India, for reinforced concrete design, we refer to IS four five six published in two thousand in the year two thousand. This is a publication by. This is a publication by Bureau of Standard of India. Further, mm, in British, we follow B S eight one one zero. One nine eight five. 
American code is ACI 318 published in the year 1999 mm, German code is DIN1045 Australian practice code is Yes, three six zero. You can have a good collection of this code and read just for how this code very how this code match how this practice matches what different countries. Uh, okay. Mm. I shall name a few number of Indian standard which deals with the design of reinforced concrete structure. Mm. Firstly already I have told IS456 2000 published in the year 2000 secondly SP34 thirdly SP24 uh, okay mm, this is the mm, design aids for reinforced concrete structure uh, this is a this is a mainly this is this code this code deals with the detailing of the reinforcement and this is an explanatory handbook um, so you can also have a good collection of this code uh, this all all of this all of these codes are all of these codes um, are related to the Reinforced concrete design structure. Okay, well, that is all for today. Uh, tomorrow I will come with the um, limited design in details.